I think like most people uh, in my position, uh, have no idea. Let's just say that, uh, in the words of Bill Withers, who was a, a great songwriter, I'm sure you remember, uh, Lean On Me, It's Gonna Be A Lovely Day. When he was asked that question, he said that uh, the manufacturer, of, he was talking about songwriting, but I'm gonna apply it to poetry. The, the manufacture of poetry involves a kind of magic that I don't feel entitled to uh, look into. It's a common superstition amongst anybody who's in uh, any artistic endeavour, I think. But I don't really rely on inspiration anyway, on account of I'm a professional and I've got to keep it fresh. I've got to, I've got to maintain my front so as I can keep making my game. So I've got to keep it fresh. So I have to keep writing sort of stuff that addresses uh, today's world in a way, in, in a weird way. I don't think it's that unusual. I've said this before. I think of all the art, of all the arts, poetry is the one that everybody gives it a go. You don't have to learn how to play a musical instrument and you don't need any kind of special, particular physical skills. All you need really is a, is uh, literacy and uh, off you go. You don't even need that anyway. You can use a microphone. But I did it to a morbid degree and, uh, you know, I found out early on that I was, you know, quite good at it. Very good. You know, it's, it's a gift that I uh, sharpened into a skill that grew into a kind of art form. Everybody gives it a go, but most people think it's inconsequential, as it is, like all art. It is, to me, the definition of art is it, its uselessness. As soon as it's useful, it's a utensil. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think, I think that's the defining nature, feature of all art, is it's the, the world would have been exactly the same if it had, if it had never have been... <laughs> <laughs> composed, you know, and that's the beauty of it, really. It's a, it's a luxury item. Who would care? What, what, what difference would it make if I didn't write another poem? But, you know, that's my raison d'etre and uh, old habits die hard. And I love a circular conversation. I agree with Bill Withers there that the manufacture of poetry, as in song, requires a kind of, involves a kind of magic that one shouldn't really uh, overanalyze, I think. You know, like that, that what, what Barry Cryer said about uh, a joke. It's like, you know, if you, if, you, if you analyze a joke, it's like dissecting a frog. You know, the frog dies and nobody laughs. <laughs>